the blood of Jesus cleanses our sins and makes it possible for us to be holy to come before God. Don't look at somebody and say, these are the people who qualify. No. It's the blood that qualifies all of us. You can be as anointed as any man of God if only you can believe that you are standing before the throne of grace. In this message series titled, The Blood of Jesus, Kakra Bading explains how covenants can also be made with God as was in the case of Abraham. He also discover how the blood of Jesus gives us access into the presence of God. Grab a copy for yourself and a loved one this Easter season. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order the Blood of Jesus at the comment section or message window. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. Kakra has been sharing an insightful series titled, The Blood of Jesus, with the subtitle, Boldness. Today, he'll be talking about the high priest. Let's join him as he introduces his subject. I started sharing on the subject, The Blood of Jesus. And I started sharing on the subtitle, Boldness. I explained three things that undermine boldness. The first one is you feel you're not holy enough or guilt. The next obstacle to boldness, it says, God has made a new and living way, which means there is a way to approach God. In the Old Testament, you had to offer sacrifices to approach God. But here the Bible tells us you don't need to do anything extra again to approach God. The third thing that undermines boldness is people always feel that they must go through somebody before they can, they can get to God themselves. And the Bible says, it is the blood that made the way for all these three things to be made possible. Today I want to continue. And I want to speak on the third point a little bit. I say, you don't have to go through any other person. You have to go through the high priest who is Jesus. I want to just speak a little bit more about a high priest. Amen. Amen. And boldness. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 11. But Christ being come, a high priest of good things to come, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. If the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of an hi-fi sprinkling the unclean purifieth to the purifying of the flesh, then it says, how much more, verse 14 says, shall the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. In those days, you wanted to see God, you needed to go through the high priest. He was the only one who could approach God. Then it says, Christ came as a high priest. Not only that, it said, by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building. And that place had been sanctified for God to be there, his presence to be there. So for you to go to God, you had to go to that building which was in Jerusalem. Now, Paul is saying that when Christ came, he was without spot. He didn't have sin. So because he didn't have sin, God could move from that building and come and stay in him because he was clean. Not only that, when he died on the cross, his blood also washed us and made us clean. So that is why his God's spirit moved from the building and now it is living, God, the Holy Spirit is living inside us because the blood of Jesus has made us holy. That's what he's trying to say. That's why Paul said in 1 Corinthians 3.16, Know ye not that you are the temple of God and the spirit of God dwells in you. Then he continued and said, Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once 
into the holy place to obtain eternal redemption for us. They use the blood of animals to cover people's sins. So that when God comes down into that building, the tabernacle, he won't see the sin. So because of that, his presence can be there. But he said, when Christ came, he came with his own blood. Why? Because he didn't have any sin, so his blood was pure. Then he said that he obtained eternal redemption for us. What does it mean? Eternity is the past, the present, and the future. It's a different time mood. And he said, what makes the blood of Christ superior is that it is blood without sin. It's a without spot. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that our high priest, Jesus' blood, brought us eternal redemption, purging us of our sins in the past, present, and future. Join us same time tomorrow as Kakra continues this message. Before we leave, here is a praise report to boost your faith in the Lord. Conceived after seven years of childlessness. Dear Kakwa, I came to Hall last year for the Airbar conference and my husband and I told you about seven years of marriage with our child. You prayed a powerful prayer for us. Glory be to God, I am now 38 weeks pregnant. Hallelujah. I give him all the praise. For your time, you can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.